G'day, I'm Rowan and I'm always having a fair crack at life here in Australia. If you're into fishing, camping or off-road adventures, be sure to subscribe and follow along. yesterday and caught eight of these with my mate. I'm gonna prep these up, show you how I separate the tail from the head, freeze them so they can go into storage and I can enjoy them for months to come. When you catch them, obviously you wanna put them on a bed of ice like so. So if you get a nice ice slurry going, they'll just rest on there and they'll go to sleep. I caught these guys last night. Then all we're gonna do is these Western Rock Lobster have their antenna here. You just wanna snap it off about halfway down. So it's probably about three or four millimeters thick there at the tip of it. And then you just want to go up the pooch chute here, feed it in. You don't have to go in too far. And then once you're in, you just pull and it just removes the pooch chute or the vein as some people call it. And then you drain that out. So then that's going to clean out the tail and you're not going to have anything in there except for clean meat. And then once that's done, Remembering that this is for the tails only, what we're doing is you're going to send your knife up into it. You're going to run your knife up as flat as you can through the back of the tail there. Deep into the head. And just work your way around. I'm just doing this slowly and gently for you guys. All the way around. And then what you do, once that's done, you just twist and pull. And then you're left with all that meat outside the lobster. So that's how you do that. Now you've got a clean bit of lobster tail ready to eat. And I'll chuck that on there. The heads, you can use them for whatever you want. You can boil them, cook them separately, or you can mince them up for burly. Or usually I'll just throw them straight back in the ocean. As you see here, or along the bottom of the lobster, so you've got these spikes here. So they're the main thing you gotta watch for when you're vacuum sealing these. And the issue is as well, so what I do is I foam tray them. So you can get these foam trays that you'll get from a butcher's supplier. I'll just start with the first one, and we'll just do it with a single tray. So all that's gonna do is just sit on there. Got a couple of cryoback bags here that are sealed up. Got my little cryoback here. I'm just gonna slot that in. And then I'll do the double one in a second. So that's just gonna sit in there. Bang. So when you want to seal two together, if you're going to have a meal with two of yours, that's how I do it. I just lay them top tail, back, bag them up, chuck them in. Okay guys, so just like that, that's your example on how you can prepare your lobster tails, separate them from head, get them vacuum sealed so they'll last for months in the freezer and then you'll have them for as long as you need to come, especially once the season sort of dies away. If this video has been helpful, help us out, give us a like, drop a comment, subscribe, follow the series. I'm going to make this into a playlist so I'm just going to keep adding on, adding on, adding on, different methods of cooking, catching, tips, safety tips, how to place pots. Everything like that, I'm gonna do that in sequence, just in a heap of different videos.